And sisters, brace yourselves. Because know that you can show up with your Ivy League degree, pristine resume, tailor-made for the job, a trail of accolades and accomplishments, and still be questioned by those who are your intellectual inferiors. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. So I've avoided MSNBC and the rest of the media's over-the-top racial coverage of Katanji Brown Jackson, who was recently confirmed to the Supreme Court, because I value my sanity and I want to continue living. I am not exaggerating when I say that CNN, MSNBC, and even the network news outlets have sounded like racial supremacists in their laser, eagle-like focus on the level of melanin in Jackson's skin. And how anybody that asks a single critical question about her judicial record is a snarling racist monster that literally wants her dead. Like dinosaurs heading back into the swamp. Uh, this is what you do, do come to expect, frankly. I mentioned that uh, this in some ways is the fulfillment of the civil rights movement. Movements give rise to counter movements. Uh, there are people who are not happy about the progress this country has made. Um, they have a very different vision or want to freeze things where they are or take them backwards. Lindsey Graham represents that faction, as does Rand Paul, as does, you know, Tom Cotton, Josh Hawley, uh, and, and the rest. You know, Malcolm X back in the day said the most disrespected person in America is a black woman, and that is exactly how a lot of black women felt when they saw that. Just say, I don't trust a black woman to do the job. I watched a lot of the hearings yesterday. It was very painful to watch a lot yesterday afternoon. These attacks are designed to attack uh, Ketanji Brown Jackson's, not her record, but her personal character. And that we know that these uh, attacks um, can put her life and the life of her family and children in danger. And now yeah. they come hey. over the top with these pedophilia attacks. It's designed to put her life in danger. <laughs> Hold on, I'm having a series of elaborate heart attacks. Just keep it together. Just keep it together. I mean, what is there to say about this insane shit? The gay Don King clown guy appears to be a Nazi skinhead level racist troll who gets paid to spew the most toxic rhetoric on television. And I'm amazed that he does it with no pushback whatsoever outside of bunker dwelling 43 year old YouTubers. I haven't even shown you what the insane host says which at this point can really only be taken one way, but you be the judge. But before we get to that clip, give me just 30 seconds to tell you about preparewithdronetech.com. Friends, big dangers are all around us these days. To survive what's coming, you need to be prepared and self-reliant. That's why I recommend getting yourself some cryptocurrency, some land, some gold, but especially a proper stockpile of emergency food. It's easier than you think. Go to preparewithdronetech.com right now and you'll save $50 and get free shipping on a generous four-week supply of emergency food from My Patriot Supply. Go to preparewithdronetech.com right now. That's preparewithdronetech.com. All the colored girls who considered shaping justice when this system was not enough, this moment is ours. Commemorate it, celebrate it, see yourselves, and sisters, brace yourselves. Because know that you can show up with your Ivy League degree, pristine resume, tailor-made for the job, a trail of accolades and accomplishments, and still be questioned by those who are your intellectual inferiors. And likely, no one will ever ask, how did all these basic-ass other people even get in a position to pose a question to me? They're celebrated while we have our very humanity questioned. Stand tall, sisters, and in those moments that those collective voices try to make you feel like you don't belong, take heed to this sage council. What? Take heed to this sage council? Who the hell talks like that? And as far as calling people's humanity into question, you mean like reducing people to inhuman, racist, sexist monsters for asking legitimate questions of a Supreme Court nominee? She's talking about a SCOTUS nominee for one, not a queen or a dictator. All Supreme Court nominees are questioned by Congress or as she calls them, intellectual inferiors, which sounds more like something I'd expect to hear from a racial supremacist. The idea that black people are actually superior to white people is an insane notion that's actually gaining popularity on university campuses. Take this guy, for example, who was a speaker at Ohio State University, my old school, who gave a speech on so-called anti-racism, where he claims that black people are actually superior to white people. I just wanted to say that, um, and make this very clear, the only people who are taught that they are superior to another race are white people. And I would absolutely love to live in a world where black people were taught that they are superior. I would love it 
because I wholeheartedly believe that. This idea that certain black people are somehow above scrutiny and criticism is an idea that I've seen batted around the media a lot recently. Josh Hawley is not backing down. What he is doing is dangerous. Judge Jackson also faces a time that is at the intersection of racism and sexism and intense political divisions. Had a trip to the surreal during Ted Cruz's questioning when uh, there was this extensive discussion of the summer reading list at the Georgetown Day School, uh, the relevance of which was really hard to see. Ted Cruz holding up pictures of a picture book, and I think that in the context of a Supreme Court nomination, that just seems sort of below the line of... And by the way, they still think Ibram Kendi is a critical race theorist. I've asked him. <laughs> He's not. Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz and Lindsey Graham and all the rest of you, Mike Lee, all of you, and Tom Thuggish Cotton, you didn't defend the teenage victims of the man you gleefully put in a lifetime position on the Supreme Court. You don't get to say anything about Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. She bested you intellectually and you're mad about it. But they know their base gets really excited about critical race theory and, and questions about racist babies and accusing black people of being soft on crime and about right-wing Christian victimology and QAnon. The genius out of Tennessee asked her to define the word woman, a question no previous Supreme Court nominee has ever been asked. You got that? She's a superior black woman and all of us inferior cave people should just shut up and be glad that we're not in CRT gulags. And likely no one will ever ask how did all these basic ass other people even get in a position to pose a question to me. They were elected. That's how all of these basic ass inferior people get to write to question all SCOTUS nominees. What evidence does she have that the very tame line of questioning about her judicial record had anything to do with race? or the that it was somehow outside of the norm to question her about her judicial record. Are we supposed to believe that white Supreme Court nominees aren't questioned just as critically? Tamron Hall's dubious claim here that Amy Comey Barrett and Kavanaugh were celebrated is just an outright lie. Does she not know that we have plenty of video proof of not how just those two were treated, but Clarence Thomas, who is black and who happens to be the second black justice to serve on the Supreme Court. These white men, old, by the way, mm -hmm. are not protecting women. They're yeah. protecting a man who is probably guilty. Seeing on display a metaphor of like what this party is and just basically just ignorant white men. Here we are almost a year after the Me Too movement caught fire around the world, and it feels like we are returning to the original ground zero of the Supreme Court nomination hearings. A couple of years ago, I saw the Republicans push through an alleged attempted rapist without an investigation. But to the folks who have had their rights infringed upon, we know how to recognize a wolf in sheep's clothing. All right, my blood pressure is rising to dangerous levels, so I better end it there. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like like button, share, and then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.